Neighbors in the E-Town community are coming together to support one of their own after a family's home goes up in flames overnight. Firefighters say it started in the garage after a lithium battery in the family's golf cart ignited. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding shares the warning from Jacksonville Fire Rescue about these batteries. A family's home gone in a matter of minutes. Neighbors were still shocked by what they saw. I ran outside, you know, at the same time I called 911, ran outside to make sure my neighbors had made it out of the house safe and they know about the fire. Miriam Nassery was relieved to learn a father and two children had gotten out safely. The mother was working at the time. <laughs> Hours later, crews worked to board the home up. The family telling News for Jacks the home was built just a few years ago. And looking at the house next door, you can see that the flames were so intense that it had heat damage. And you can see that those windows are boarded up. Now, if we look back to the home where this all started, you'll see that the city has come in and put a sign on the garage door, letting everyone know that it's condemned. This week, the New York City Fire Commissioner confirmed a fire that killed four people at an e-bike shop was also started by lithium-ion batteries. JFRD says they're especially dangerous. A normal fire extinguisher will not put them out, and people need to follow the correct guidelines. Do not charge a lithium-ion battery when you're not either present at home or at night when you're asleep. Your life is not worth the few dollars that you save on that on that aftermarket battery versus buying the OEM. As this tight knit community grapples with this devastation, neighbors say they just want to be there for the family. The emotional toll that is going to be taken and the shock and everything they're going to go through, they will need time and um, any amount of support from family, friends, neighbors um, will be amazing. A family rebuilding after a horrific fire and neighbors coming together in their time of need. Reporting in Jacksonville, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station. There is a GoFundMe page to help the family and you can find a link on our website, newsforjax.com.